Hello friends, welcome back to the new lecture on the introduction to fluid power and hydraulic system element. In this particular lecture, we are going to see two type of pump. Let us see first pump that is a low pump. This is quite easy to understand. It's very similar to gear pump, external gear pump. In the external gear pump, we have seen that there are two gear are in mesh with each other. Instead of two gear, what we have used is the lobe. So this particular parts are called as a lobe, and this particular pump is called as a three lobe pump because there are three three lobes present on this particle that's why it's called a three lobe pump and in the gear pump there was a number of gear like 20 30 depending upon its diameter whereas here only three lobes are present this particular port is called as the inlet port of this particular pump and this particular port is called as outlet port so i have to take a oil from this side and uh, and deliver oil on the this particular side you might be observed that these two lobes are rotating in opposite side direction so this is rotating a clockwise whereas this is rotating anti-clockwise direction in this particular pump we have to give a power to both means here there will be one central shaft and here there will be another central shaft so we have to deliver a power to both mechanical energy if we are giving mechanical energy to only one gear then it's not possible to rotate it if we are giving the mechanical energy to both then and then only it will be rotating initially there may not be oil present here only air will be present here the air which is present here first of all it will trap between a two lobe and the casing and that will be get delivered on this side so initially all air which is present on this particular side that will be get removed and after removing all the air from this particular part vacuum will be generated here and now we are knowing vacuum means pressure below the atmosphere and the oil which is present on this side that will be at atmospheric pressure so because of pressure difference the oil will be get sucked into the pump and that sucked oil will be get trapped between a two lobe like this and it will move forward and it will be get delivered similar thing happen on this side also the oil will come here it will be move like this and it will go out so the oil or the fluid which is to be pumped that will be moved forward to through low lobes and that oil will be get delivered here so pressurized oil will be available here so if you check a difference between a gear pump and this pump it's quite similar except the tooth uh, tooth number of tooth were present and here only three lobes are present the figure shows a three lobe pump but the in the market there are various type of lobes are present like two lobe pump is present four lobe pump is present five lobe pump is present such kind of loops present there so in this case what happened the pulsating output will be available as compared to the gear pump in gear pump we are having basically a uh, series of the tooth and that's why continuous flow of the fluid will come here only three loops are there that's why the output of fluid may be a pulsating one let's see the some of the like, uh, features of this particular pump this is a basically a type of gear pump but the lobes instead of gear so as i told you this is a gear pump but rather than gear what we are using is the lobe the three lobe gear pump this is a three lobe gear pump the output of this pump more pulsed than output of the gear pump because of there are a fewer tooth so here there are very less number of tooths are present or rather lobes are present compared to gear pump and that's why the output we are getting in a pulsating one the fluid is delivered in a comparatively larger pocket so here the pocket present for the fluid delivery is bigger in compared to the which is available in the internal gear pump so in the internal gear pump you might be observed that in the internal gear pump the pocket which is present here it's quite small and the small amount of fluid will present in the case of external gear pump also you can see that the pocket available is very small hence the fluid discharge will be less compared to the low pump in the low pump we are having space available more and that's why more discharge is possible this is all about a low 